alchemist transforming the surface from all that got buried beneath we are seeds call us committed for liberation is the only air we can breathe to destroy us they'll have to annihilate our angels we summon the strength of all those who came before us and all those coming we must be freedom in our fingers when the world gives us nothing but believing a new day's coming our sisters so we didn't have speeches but we do think it's important to hear from our trans sisters directly and so I'm going to invite Ashley Love from Black Trans Lives Matter to the stage to speak to us that's actually Black Trans Women's Lives Matter um, I just wanted to say I'm so inspired that there's so many people here tonight and um, I don't have any blood relatives who are transsexual or transgender who are murdered but as a trans woman I do have chosen sisters who are trans and transsexual and transgender and I don't, has anyone heard of Tyra Hunter? She was an African American woman of trans experience and she was in an ambulance and the ambulance did not want to perform on her because she was trans. And I'm pretty sure they knew they could get away with it because she was poor and black and a woman, but she was also transsexual. And the ambulance does represent the state, so that is state violence. And you know what happened with Maya, Maya Hall up there in Baltimore. And there's also a woman named Victoria. She is also a transgender woman, and she was in a detention camp, uh, center, and they refused to give her her HIV medication, and she died. They looked like she was begging, crying, pleading for her life, and they just didn't want to give her her medication, and she died. Has anyone here heard of Islan Nettles? Say her name. Islan Nettles. What's her name? Islan Nettles. Say it again. Islan she was just a young, beautiful black trans woman with a whole life ahead of her, and she was murdered by a couple men, and the police let them go, even though one of them confessed to it. Just let them go. A lot of times when black trans women are assaulted, are victims, they're afraid to come forward because they know that the police are gonna probably also further victimize her. Sorry. Um, and uh, so even though the police did not kill Islam Nettles, the fact that they are making men think it's okay to kill black trans women and they'll be able to get away with it, that is a form of state violence. So it's just really important, you know, if, 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 you, know, if, if, you, if you see a trans woman on the street, don't snicker at her, don't laugh at her. Do you know how hard her life is? She doesn't need that, you know? So many trans women are here. So many trans women are fighting for, for all black lives. Not just some black lives. How many black lives? All black lives. How many black lives? All black lives. Thank you guys so much, and God bless all you people up here. I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry for your loss. I, I understand the trauma too, because, you know, I don't really have a family because you know, I was disowned, but the trans community became my family. So every time I lost one of them, it, I felt like I was losing, losing a blood relative. So I do know how you feel, okay? We're all family. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Black trans, women's lives matter. Thank you. And their leadership and our movements 
needs to be acknowledged and recognized, right? They teach us some of our best strategies around how we survive and how we, how we end violence or protect ourselves from violence. So let's celebrate. Let's celebrate all of our trans sisters. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna ask uh, Andrea Ritchie to come to the stage. So, as I said, we're not done. Tomorrow is a national day of action and remembrance of black women and girls who have been killed by police. There's gonna be a number of actions that are happening around the city um, at 10 a.m. at the African burial grounds. We'll be coming together again at, what's happening? At the African burial grounds, folks will be gathering at 10 a.m. And I just really want to honor the leadership and vision of Charlene Carruthers and Black Youth Project 100, the national office and all the chapters around the country calling for this day of action tomorrow. We are here on the eve to remember, but tomorrow we will be going out to act and to commit to continuing to act beyond tomorrow. So Black Youth Project 100 and Black Lives Matter are holding an event at 10 a.m. at the African Burial Grounds downtown. They will, Black Lives Matter will then be hosting um, folks in canvassing in Flatbush, and then we will be supporting the family of Hyam Livingston, who died in Brooklyn Central booking despite multiple requests for medical assistance as police officers sat by and waited and watched while she died. We will be marching tomorrow, as that family does every month on the 21st, and we will all be out supporting them. So come down to the African Burial Grounds tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Follow Say Her Name, Black Women Matter and continue to act in the name of black women. Say her name. Say her name. Say her name. Say her name. Who will hold Kayam Livingston? We will. Who will hold Kayam Livingston? We will. Who will hold Kayam Livingston? We will. And we will not forget. Thank you, family. Thank you for showing up for our sisters today. Thank you. Let me hear you. Let me hear your gratitude for yourselves and for each other. Again, today we remember tomorrow we act. And we continue to act. And we never forget. And our advocates are coming to the stage now to offer a small offering for our families. We're planting seeds. We're planting seeds. We're going to continue to grow this movement. So we're going to close by saying the names of our sisters once again. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Mary and Perry, say her name. Mary and Perry. Michelle Cousteau, say her name. Michelle Cousteau. Kyla Moore, say her name. Kyla Moore. Rakia Boyd, say her name. Rakia Boyd. Chantel Davis, say her name. Chantel Davis. Shelly Frey, say her name. Shelly Frey. Alberta Sproul, say her name. Alberta Sproul. Tanisha Anderson, say her name. Tanisha Anderson. I want to thank all of our sponsors, all of the organizations that came together to make this day possible. I want to bring, um, is Kim? I'm gonna bring Kim back to the stage. Kim Crenshaw. No? On behalf of the African American Policy Forum and all of, of, all of our uh, partner organizations, I wanna thank you for being here today. Again, today we remember, tomorrow we wanna see you out on the streets, ready to act. Good night.